New homecoming, a new defensive coordinator and throwback uniforms to the desert swarm defense days. Some reasons to be optimistic for Arizona football to stop its three game losing streak against Oregon State today. Former Wildcat great Chuck Cecil making his debut as defensive coordinator after Marcel Yates was let go last week. A light crowd of just under 37,000 at Arizona Stadium and the defense no better today. It is Jake Luton to Isaiah Hodgkins for the touchdown and the Beavers go up by a 7-0 score. After a couple of Arizona field goals, it's Luton to Hodgkins again. This sets up another touchdown. Hodgkins finished with 150 yards receiving and two scores. Khalil Tate didn't play badly, but a couple of late second quarter sacks cost the Wildcats, who trailed 35-19 at the half. Second half now for Kevin Sumlin's team. True freshman Grant Gannell in at quarterback, trying to bring the Cats back to Cedric Peterson, who does the rest. A 35-yard touchdown reception, but the Wildcats never let in this game. They were constantly playing catch-up. J.J. Taylor, a fantastic game. He was a warrior out there. 167 combined yards for J.J., but no answer for the Beavers' offense. Tyjon Lindsay with a touchdown run, and the Wildcats lose 56-38, to their fourth straight defeat as they fall to 4-5. and five. We need to be able to stop the run, and then we, then we cut loose a couple guys wide open, right? Some miscommunication in, in the secondary. So it was a combination of a couple things. Uh, definitely needed that win. Um, you know, it's bitter. Um, so definitely just uh, sour taste in your mouth. Yeah, we just need to pick it up and stay together as a team. You know, when stuff like this happens, a lot of, a lot of people like to point fingers, but we can't do that. Yes, the Wildcats, Kevin Sumlin's team heading into the bye week with a four and five record.